Here's a short video on how to set up an ATB72 time clock. These time clocks are used in many coronators including a clear water unit, the C series, uh, the salt master units and also some auto claw units and um, some pool stool Q units. But as you see the, the, the shape of the clock, these are all used, if it looks like this, that this will be the type of clock that it is. Now say for example you want to set the time at 1.30 in the afternoon. What you've got to do is set the time at that red line there. So you just turn the clock and it'll only go clockwise. You just keep turning it around until it's 1.30 p.m. in the afternoon. Now as you can see there, there now that's 1.30, but it's 1.30 in the morning. So you've got to turn it all the way around until it's 1.30 in the afternoon, which will read 13.30. Thirteen thirty on the dial. So that's how you set the time. Now how you set your, your on and off times is just by simply pushing these tabs out. So now when the, when the clock comes around, it's going to switch the pump on then, which was about 4.30 in the afternoon. It's going to come around and it's going to switch the pump off at 7 o'clock at night. Now you can just keep doing that. You just set the, the, the run times wherever you want to do it. Just keep pushing those tabs in and out. If you change your mind, you just press them back the other way. It's as simple as that. So the important thing is to is set the time of the day at that red line and make sure it's AM or PM. Another thing you've got to do when you get one of these clocks is a 50 and 60 cycle switch here. In Australia we run on 50 cycles, so make sure that that switch is in the up position. If you run it on 60 cycle it will run too fast and not keep the correct time. On this side here is your auto and off switch. Um, auto means precisely that, it's going to turn on and off at the times that you've set it. If you want to run the pump at any other time, you just flick that down to on and it'll switch the pump on. If you want to clean the pool or do whatever. And then when you finish doing it uh, manually, you just switch that back to auto and then it will come only on and off at those set times that you've done. When you replace these clocks, they just simply clip out. They just push into, into, the, into the panel. They're quite easy to remove. And just make sure you do a little drawing of the, of the wires where they go on the back. It's very important that they go in the same position. And that's it, done.